We were talking about the California uh, decision on same-sex marriage based in part on the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Interesting, the 14th Amendment, very much in the news this week, another segment of the 14th Amendment under debate with these, this, this uh, suggestion by some leading Republicans that we ought to re- take another look at the idea that if you're born in the United States, you automatically get citizenship. E.J., what's the issue? Um, Well, the 14th Amendment says, and I quote, that all persons born or naturalized in the United States are citizens. And uh, this was put in play by a surprising person, really. Lindsey Graham really gave this a push. Lindsey Graham has always supported um, uh, the idea of a comprehensive immigration reform. He's worked hard on it. And yet he came out and said, people come here to have babies. They come here to drop a child. It's called drop and leave. Now, I got to say that the term drop a child uh, is pretty offensive. And, you know, Lindsey Graham is a right to life. I don't know how you can use that phrase, drop a child. Um, The fact, I'm sorry, I have a frog in my throat. The fact is that the those who say this is not was not intended by the 14th amendment well yes at the time we had very few virtually no immigration laws so they weren't um, illegal immigrants to the country on the other hand the issue of immigration did come up and president andrew johnson who was opposed to the 14th amendment talked about how it would and i'm quoting it talked about that it would include gypsies it would include the chinese of the pacific states so the immigration issue really did come up and i think the um and garrett epps whom i cited my column a law professor did research and it's pretty clear that it was intended to cover everybody except for Uh, Indians who had separate, uh, Native Americans who had separate citizenship, and the kids of diplomats. I think it's a shame this has come up. Republicans should be proud of their role in creating the uh, 14th Amendment, and I hope this issue disappears. Well, Stephen, why is it coming up now? Well, it's not exactly a new issue. uh, Every time the immigration issue heats up, and boy has that issue heated up this year, every time that issue heats up, this does pop up. I remember doing a story, it was either 2005 or 2006, when then-Speaker Denny Hastert for the Republicans... uh, uh, decided that he actually backed ending birthright citizenship, as it's called. So it's it's not necessarily new. It's just that it, there there is a huge segment of the population that doesn't understand that, 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 that doesn't want this policy and would like to overturn the policy. So it will always come up during immigration debates. I'm Susan.